the whole their whole aura is just dark. The way that they even talk about the way they talk about themselves alone. Mm. And I'm like, I look at so I look at these this whole nine grid. This is what nine grid? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. I'm scrolling and it's just it's, it's, I'm scrolling, it's still you. All you. Right. All you nothing else. All right. Makes you wonder. Yeah. You know, it's uh, I think uh, I, I flirt with this idea a lot. Mm -hmm. Just delete my shit and you know, not even think about it. Yeah. And uh, my whole girl was like, "No, nah, you can't do that. You're a photographer. Like people are looking for you." I'm like, "Let them look some more." <laughs> 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 uh, that, that's the perfect personification of what social media is now, man. Um, particularly from the photographer's eye, it annoys me to when you know being out. Even when I don't have my camera, and people ask me, can you take this photo? It's just like... Ah. Dude, think about this. All this shit could be gone. Then what? What, what, what else you got? Where's the value? Hmm. Yes, I don't know. But... So it sounds like you, you like to still stay in tune and in touch with nature. Get off the grid time to time. Oh, that's... Oh, God, that's so important. Mm. Damn, like... What does that do for you in a recharging sense? It sounds very... Re uh, what is it? Rejuvenating. Um, I wouldn't really call... Well, yeah, it is rejuvenating, but it's also, like, very, for me, it's grounding. Because, like, like I said, man, like, we've got so much mm -hmm. information to constantly download, and it's, like, mm. overwhelming. Mm. Um, mm. Yeah, so escaping, you know, being out in nature, it allows me to think clearly. It allows me to just, just really remind myself, you know, shit. I'm just a, a grain of salt, not even a grain of salt compared to the entire universe. Yeah. So, you know, yeah. pull it back, you know, just sit still and let, let those thoughts flow. And, uh, you know, get back in the game. Mm. Mm. I love that, man. That's very profound. Um, I need that shit all the time. <laughs> have you always been that way? Or was there a time where you were kind of in the Matrix for long durations of time and you kind of get away from this grounding? Yo, so, a lot of people don't know this, but I have an older brother. Okay. Um, you know, he, we, he's much older than me. Wow. Our birthdays are on the same day, June seventeenth. Wow. Uh, same day as Kendrick Lamar. Wow. Uh, <laughs> nah, but um, nah. He was like, you know, I was talking to him the other day because I haven't seen him in years. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm not getting it into that. But anyways, yeah. he was like, you know, I understand. I understand why you were the way you were as a kid. Like, you always, you know, wanted to be by yourself. You never wanted to be in the mix. Anytime mm -hmm. somebody came to the house, mm -hmm. you went in your room. He was like, I get it now. Mm -hmm. Like. Yeah, like I, shit, I might be friendly, but I don't fucking like people. Like, I don't know. It's not even, yeah, that too. It's it's a lot of pretentious bullshit. It's, it's fucking. I know this is gonna be public. I hope y'all see this shit. But it's just a lot of fake interaction. Yeah. Like one thing that. Take have you had a death in the family like a close death in the family? Yes, we can say that. Okay, so there are people that come around you mm -hmm. and they tell mm -hmm. you things yeah. like, "Oh, if you need anything, just give me a call." Like anything, I've got you. Just you know, mm -hmm. give me a call. Mm -hmm. Nobody tells you how quiet it is once all these people leave. Mm -hmm. And you're just there to pick up the pieces. Mm. So, yeah, I hear you. All right, you said give you a call anytime I need something. Mm. Mm. I don't trust that, but I'll test you mm -hmm. because shit. I mean, you know, when people tell you things, or when we hear people say, "Yeah, I did this all by myself. I'm self-made." Yeah. Stop fucking lying. Yeah. No, you did that on the back of somebody else. Mm -hmm. um, mm -hmm. But nah, I like shit. I'm gonna need something, you know. I don't like asking for help, but if, when I do, like, it's some real shit. Yeah. And I have been let down plenty of times by people who said, 
oh, yeah, call me if you want to talk. Call me if anything. So to avoid all that, I create this tunnel vision for, for myself, yeah. for what it is that I'm trying to achieve, and I tune out the outside noise. Like, That's a somewhat um, manage your expectations to curb disappointment, or even... Mm, ex even expectation? What's that? What's that? How do you spell that? Expectation? X. <laughs> no, I, I, try to keep it, I try to keep it to a minimum. Yeah. Yeah. Um, but there, for certain people, like yeah. I have, I have high expectations for other people. Sometimes mm. I know I shouldn't be doing that shit, but you know, mm -hmm. like I, I just see like some amazing things. Like you, shit yourself, especially. <laughs> like I've seen, <laughs> not nah, I've seen your older work, and I've seen where you're going. Mm -hmm. You know, down to this. Uh, this black drop back black drop yeah black back drop black drop series bro it's all yeah up, man. nah man like <laughs> look getting started and pulling yourself out of a dark space is very tough i don't mm. even know if you were in a dark space but it's mm. just dope to see that you're stepping up and trying mm. something different mm. just to see where it could take you you might not even know your fucking vision mm. like or you might have an idea yeah. of what you want that vision to be Right. But like shit, the way the way this universe pans out, man. Like once you get started and you keep going, you keep digging, you keep digging. Like you're gonna start finding. Oh shit! Wait a minute. I know I wanted to do that, but nah, this shit is where I'm at now. Yeah. So <laughs> I appreciate that, man. Yeah. I appreciate that. How do you manage your past experiences, which can leave bad imprints or trauma mm. while managing your current expectations not necessarily even of people but just of yourself and still go out and seek clients get work and produce confidently mm. I, we, we know that you you stay grounded and in tune with self but that's no easy feat to balance all those things and still operate and function that's fact at high tier and still be going to other cities and getting business in. Things happening like cameras breaking and clients saying, hey, here's my iPhone. I trust you because your eye didn't pay you because of the tools you have. That's, yeah. come on. Yeah. How do you, how do you deal with all of that? Because that's a lot. And I'm not saying how do you deal with it, but how do you remain motivated in business oh. despite wanting to detach from your everyday society? Like, I want it all. No. <laughs> nah, it's, it's, nah, honestly, nah, it's, it's, I don't, I don't, I don't, actually, I hate church. I don't go to church. Mm -hmm. I'm not a religious person, but I do believe that there is a higher power mm -hmm. that's just, like, yeah, I'm, I'm protected. Like, mm -hmm. my ancestors are with me. My, my, my army of angels always got my back mm -hmm. um and not only that like i know what i want and i know that i can do this and we all heard this shit before god don't give you nothing that you can't handle right yeah. uh so yeah like i've i've seen darker days i've been through some shit mm -hmm. uh and i made it this far and i also didn't only come this far just to come this far yeah like I got a lot of work, to, I got a lot of ground to cover. Mm -hmm. So shit, mm -hmm. you know, when when things happen or those past experiences happen, this is like something that I feel like everybody should really be mindful of. Mm -hmm. Those negative past experiences should not dictate, or should I'm sorry, it shouldn't cripple you. To, to the point where, oh, I can't do such and such, or, uh, no, I, that, that's too, mm. I can't, shit, I can't live in fear. Mm. Like, I, I, I ain't gonna lie. I overthink myself <laughs> out of things. I, shit, I overthink about overthinking. Yes. Uh, <laughs> like, yeah, it's just, can't turn this shit off. Like, I wake up with anxiety, but, mm. you know. I know that once I start like 
check his shit off the list. Mm -hmm. I'm like, damn, okay, this feels good. Yeah. Like, it's just like yeah. getting into the rhythm. You said getting started. Once you get started, it's a flow. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I look, yeah. I look forward to that. Yeah. You know, this week, actually, it was last week. I had um, it was just way too many things coming in. Like, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. it was a lot of things to juggle, and I was like, you know what? Just start. Mm. It, don't know, it don't matter what the fuck you start with. Just start. I even started like editing from like the very middle. I uploaded my shit and I was like, okay, uh, looking through, looking through. All right, I'll just start, start with this. But you know, to start in the middle, guys, means that you are not so enthused about the beginning or the end of this project. Right, <laughs> to right. Start some. Yeah, always, always learning, you know. And that actually, it kind of went against my um, my rules because I like to edit from the last photo because mm -hmm. I noticed like I'm noticing patterns in my work too. Mm. Like if I've been on the set for a certain period of time, like I know when I'm starting to fade out mm. mentally. Mm. Yeah, uh, been looking at the same thing too much. Your vision isn't as clear as when you first started. Yeah, subjects. I got you. Yeah, and I know like I know my hot spot. I know when I was on my shit, and I know when I wasn't. Mm. Mm. And I start with the photos where I was like, okay, this is where I started getting into the groove. This is like the sweet spot. Mm -hmm. And then I'll start editing with the sweet spot and work my way back. Okay. So, okay. I feel like that was another rant, but whatever. No, you're good. That's just part of the process, you know what I mean? Yeah. Um, and when you're working in such a niche as you are, because um, not everyone is able to do that, you know what I mean? That's what I've been learning. A lot of photographers, including myself, who will pick up work that comes, you know what I mean? So when you're able to, not all work, of course, but you know what I mean. We're, very, we're selective. You saw how I saw you, right? I'm like, yeah. Listen, I got, you gave me that pep talk about a year ago, I think it was. Like, hey, bro. Uh, <laughs> like, yeah. All work ain't good work, but I, I see you working, though. That's good, but, you know, yeah. be a little bit more mindful of what, you know, um, not just where you're working, but what you represent, what represents you as well. Mm -hmm. um, and sometimes just being in the same space, if you're not really growing and getting moving forward, it's maybe time to elevate beyond that space. That's really what it's from what you said, but um, absolutely, man. To be able to be in a niche and own that lane, to know that the food photography that you put out and and even the travel, I'm I'm inspired by the traveling, bro. Like when you just popping up and oh, I'm in this state, in this city, just because yeah. they booked me for this food event, whether it's a weekend, because I've seen that. Yeah, I've seen you know just pop yeah. up in some some exclusive restaurant well, I'm like bro not only am I looking at the food itself I'm looking at the yeah. aesthetic of the restaurant yeah. you know dim lights very elegant like I said bro high class and high tier um quality work so uh to be able to do that bro that, that's really awesome um do you think everyone should go for finding a niche in we know you like 